Deep Sea Gigantism Explained Most of the deep sea creatures seem to be evolving into giant creatures, which tend to adapt to the extreme living environment they thrive in. But this makes us wonder as to why these creatures swell and grow up to be this huge. What makes them so huge? And why are the creatures at different levels of the sea different in size? What makes this difference? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. The simple answer to all your questions would be deep sea gigantism, a phenomenon known as the tendency of the sea creatures, such as invertebrates, vertebrates, and all the other sea creatures to be larger in the deep sea waters, while those creatures that exist in the shallow waters tend to be much smaller than the usual. Several explanations have tried to explain the concept behind this behavior, some relating it with the scarcity of food, greater pressure, and the cold temperature at the deep part of the sea. But this is not it. The deep down you go into the ocean waves, the weirder things get. A lack of sunlight reaching the lower depths of the ocean bed, which causes the temperatures to fall drastically. This, in fact, leads to an increased cell size and an extended lifespan of organisms living in such conditions, which then results in the continual growth of body size throughout their lives. Because of a lack of oxygen at greater depths, these creatures have minimal food sources, which in turn leads to a slower metabolism rate, helping them in conserving energy. These creatures do not need to regulate their body temperature and can thus make use of that energy in other bodily processes. This is another factor behind their increased body sizes. So why can't these creatures be hunted for food? Logically, they would provide more mass for the weighing scales in a seafood shop rather than their shallow water counterparts. The simple answer to this question is a no. There is an absolutely incredible amount of funding required to carry out deep sea missions, let alone deep sea fishing. But this raises the question, can those deep sea creatures survive in shallow waters? Well, if they could have, they already would have been there. The separation of habitats has to do with hydrostatic pressure, which is experienced by all marine creatures as the depth of the sea increases. So does the pressure. This would mean that organisms with gas-filled chambers would be crushed to death when exposed to extreme pressures at such depths. This is the main reason behind why deep sea divers wear special pressure-equalizing dive suits. In order to adapt to such great pressures, deep sea creatures are largely water-based and have minimal or no air gaps in the body. Water, being incompressible, leaves their bodies unaffected by such great underwater pressure. However, this comes with its set of disadvantages. If these creatures were to try and ascend towards the water surface, the dissolved gases in their bloodstream would grow less soluble with decreased pressure. Bubbles would start forming in their blood vessels, known as gas embolism, which would cause their bodies to swell up and explode. Deep sea giants are claimed to be the living proof of evolution by adaptation. The deep waters seems to be forming a world of their own, and with that, deep sea vents and volcanoes, underwater rivers and lakes, sea mounts and underwater caves. Our blue planet itself is teeming with life in every nook and corner at every depth. Some of the most spectacular light shows on the planet can be seen in the deepest parts of the ocean, ranging from glowing corals to lanternfish and comb jellies to barbled dragonfishes. These creatures have taken the art of surviving in harsh conditions to the next level. It's truly amazing to just imagine how there is such a plethora of life lurking out there, in the deep waters, completely unaware of each other's existence. As we continue to dive deeper and deeper, probing the unknown part of our planet, we expect to find countless more strange and fascinating creatures that have yet to be discovered and understood. And that's it for today. Did you enjoy watching this video? Did you find the video interesting? Did we miss out on anything? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to get to know your perspective on this matter. Let's discuss these in yet another video, so stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you've liked the video, then do make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of such awesome videos. Until then, see ya.